Good morning. Happy. Well, I don't want to give a day so I can reuse this video again, but happy module 158. We are starting module 158. It begins 5-5, which is this Friday, uh, and it ends 5-11. Please note, guys, you only have five days in this module, just five days. So it's pertinent that you stay up to date on your assignments. The three major assignments are going to be a cover letter, a resume, and you're going to have a project. This is the book we're going to be using, the Ken's Manual, the Administrative Medical Assistant Applied Learning Approach. We'll be using this book for this module and when we roll into the next, you're going to be starting at the back of this book. Yes, I said the back. So just go with it. It, it messes with my sensibilities also, but that is the way that uh, it is handled. So it's going to be chapter 22, Skills and Strategies. Please note that I'm going to lecture the chapter. I am not going to give you an absolute reading assignment. I do want you to go through and read this chapter. I'm going to be adding your PowerPoint slides to your e-learning so that you can use your PowerPoint slides, go through those. Um, but the thing that I want you to focus on the most is going to be your resume, your project, and your cover letter. Okay, so I am going to get out of this so that we can go into the next thing I'd like to show you. So when you get into your e-learning, I mean, sorry, your Evolve account, and you go to your Vital Source library, this is the book you're going to be using. This green and gold, the Administrative Medical Assistant. So once you get into chapter 22, you'll just scroll down and when you come, when you get on to read, you're going to see all of this. But chapter 22 is going to be under unit seek, six job seeking skills and strategies. And there, are, there is important information. For example, describe the personality traits important to employers. That is really, really, really um, important to know. So then you're going to just be reading and reviewing this chapter. Like I said, I'm not going to be giving you an absolute reading assignment. Um, but when I ask a question, like for example, uh, if I ask you, what are some potential transferable skills? On page 486, there is a list right here. So if today your question is, list the potential transferable skills you're gonna need you're going to know that it's on page 486. Again, this module is only five days. So now let's talk about your project. So I'll turn my camera on so you can see me. Okay. Um, give me just a moment, please. There we go. Sorry, I had to move my office to my bedroom. <laughs> so uh, apparently it wasn't blurred out. Uh, so please excuse the fact that you were not did not have a um, professional background. But anyway, thanks for your patience with that. So let's talk about your project. Your project is going to be the do's and don'ts of professionalism. Now, this is what I want to tell you. I'll accept a vision board where you just cut out and you put the do's and the don'ts. And I will accept a um, PowerPoint slide. Uh, either way, uh, if you do a project, for example, if you do it on construction paper, I just want it to be professional. I want it to look like a co college kid did it. College professional, not kid. <laughs> college professional did it not a elementary school uh, child, um, but I'm giving you some creative freedom to do this in the next five days. It should be fun. Um, if you make a vision board, 
the way that you would turn that into me is you would make it and you would take a very nice photo and you would upload it. Um, PowerPoint slides, Google slides, however you wish to present the do's and don'ts of professionalism. Now, this needs to be some um, essay writing um, and others can be pictures. So don't just give me pictures and say, do wear this, don't wear this. I want you to put the reasons why. It doesn't have to be a thousand words. Again, I want a professional project. Uh, this is very important because it's going to let me know that you understand what professionalism is. And as a career standpoint, professionalism is of utmost importance. So if you have any further questions, please reach out to me and let me know. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.